you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we are to draw an hypocycloid in the previous video we drew an epicycloid where i told you that the circle is rolling on the best the base circle the rolling circle is rolling on what the base circle but in this case here now the rolling circle will be rolling just below the base circle now if you've not come across the video you can just click at this link at the top right corner of the screen for you to access that video on epicycloid right now we move forward just like we did in the video i said the first thing you should do is to draw your line this way just a thick line right and also you should draw a vertical line on that thick line that is crossing it so that point should be your reference point all together and you place your set square in this manner in order for you to be able to draw a line when your set square is placed like this it means that the angle you're about to draw at this angle is 30 degree right and when i place it this way it means that the angle you want to draw another 30 degree now it means from here from this point just like in the previous video from this point to this point is what 30 degree and from this point to this point is given to be what 100 and what that is 30 degree also right so the angle between this side and this side here you see is given to be what 100 and what 20 degree now the question is why am i using 120 degree the reason is we are given the dimensioning of the hypocycloid right to be the rolling circle diameter is 75 millimeter and the base circle diameter is given to be what 225 millimeter so when you divide the rolling circle diameter by the base circle diameter and you multiply by 360 you'll be getting the angle of what of this inclination are we good now just like in the previous video so the next thing we're going to do here is to draw the base circle and we were told that the base circle the radius of the base circle is given to be 112 and a half which is the half of 225 so when i do that from this point here if i place it this way and i come to this is from one to from this point zero to 10 is 100 from 10 to from 0 to 11 is 110 112 is here and a half right at this point so i'm going to place my compass at this manner this center point here and i'm going to draw a circle to so this circle i'm drawing is my base circle right that is what my base circle now the next thing i'm going to do here is to draw the rolling circle now the radius of the rolling circle is given to be 37 and a half which is half of what 75 so when i place it on my set square or on my meter rule from here this is zero to this point is that seven and a half you can see and I'll place it at this point here, at the center point here, where I'm going to mark my center point like this. So if I place my compass at that center point, because it is zero, then I'm going to draw my circle this way. You can see that? I'm going to draw what? My circle this way. And when I do that, I will not divide from here to here this circle i'll divide it into 12. so in dividing into 12 with the help of my 
c squared. I can place my c squared this way, my t squared this way, and draw an horizontal line like this. You can see that. And I'll take my c squared, that of the 60 degree c squared. I will stand it up this way too. I'm going to draw this vertical line this way. And I'll sit it down also. I'll do the same thing here. Do the same thing this way. I'll turn it the other way around also this way. I'm going to do it this way too. We already have that. So when I'm standing it this way, and I, and I pass it to the center. Can I see that? And face it the other way around. And I'm going to pass it through the center. So this is what we have here, right? This is what we have here. So the next thing we'll be doing here will be so that means I will now divide this circle into 12 where my initial point is here is 0 so we are still going in that manner 0 right so let's see how that goes where I did the last one I place my um, protractor in this manner right so from here to here is 120 so we're marking 10 10 each because 10 divided by 120 is 12, so I need it. I need 12 sides. So we're marking it each, just like I did in the previous video. You can see that. Now when I do that, I will not draw my line to pass through to go touch the surface of the base circle this way. To that point, and the next one. To that point, the next one. To that point, the next one. To that point, the next one. So that's what we're doing. This is what we have here, right? So what I will now do is I'm going to take my compass and I'll place it at this point here to the center of the circle to get the rest center. So I'll move it this way to this point. So it means that this first point is my center zero, here is my center one, here is my center two. Here is my center 3, here is my center 4, this is center 5, center 6, center 7, center 8, center 9, center 10, center 11, then we have what center 12, so going clockwise. So we move, this is 0, this is 0, this will be 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, uh, we have 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that taking? Now what I will do is we we'll start. Like I said earlier, I'll put it to this point this way. I'm going to get the base circle from this point six here. I'll draw a circle this way, a curve to meet the other end here. You can see that? So let's start moving. So if I take the radius of my circle from here to here, right? If I roll it, the first point is meeting is this point here. So this is my first point. If I take it to center two, center one, to draw another circle this way. This another circle this way. Can you see that? So where they're meeting, I will now take my compass 
and take it to line one. This is line one here. Line one and eleven on the same point, and I'll draw this way. So where line one meets circle one is at this point. Can you see that? Line one meets circle one at this point. I'll come again to line two to center two to draw the other circle. Right, then I'll take my compass and place it here, I'll take it to point two. Point two and ten and ten are the same point and I'll draw this way. So if I do that, my circle two meeting point two. You can see that. Then again I'll go to center three to draw the third circle. So circle three, then I'll go and draw line three. So this line three here. I'll project it this way. So what circle three meets point three at this point here. Then I'll go again to four. Go to point four. I center four. Get it to this point. I'm going to draw so I'll come to this reference point here to get to point four right and I'm going to draw another line so where line four meets circle four if this line four where it meets circle four is here right at this point if it's circle four here between line four at this point then I'll go again, I'll come to 5, to this point, I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw, and I'll go to point 5, this is point 5 here, this point here, put my compass there, and I'll draw a line this way. So where line 5 meets circle 5 is at this point here. Where's my line 5? Right? Then I'll go to 6. Center 6. Now draw. Where center 6? On our point project, this is already line six, so already there. This is here. So it's interstices, meet line six. Right, is at this point. So circle six, meet line six at this point. Now, I'll go to seven. Now I'll draw again the circle of seven. So this is seven, the line of seven, meeting circle seven to be at the other side, just like I said in the other video. Then I'll go to eight. So where eight meets, this is the line of eight coming this way, meeting this here. I see that. I'll go to nine. So this is the line of nine. This is nine coming. This is nine, nine, meeting it at this point. Then I'll go to ten. So I'll choose that of ten. This is the line of ten coming. Ten, 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 meeting it at this point. This is ten. I see that. Now go to eleven. Now, we'll trace the line of eleven. This is the line of eleven. Moving the line of eleven. 
going to meet it at this point right then i'll go to 12 10 to 12 So this is 12 here, meeting at this point, because this is 12 and 0 on the same point, so meeting here. I'm going to take my French curve and join all those points together. So let's do that and see how it goes, right? So this, from this point here, from 0, coming this So, this is what we have here. This is the epicycloid of the rolling circle. One thing you need to understand is that the rolling circle is always below the what? The base circle in epicycloid. When epicycloid, the rolling circle is always above the base circle. So, if I found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and also share. Thanks for watching.